I asked my Discord server to send me planets that they would like to live on on Space Engine. Today, we're going to review them and decide whether or not I would want to live there. Join the Discord server. Links in the description to submit your own planets. Okay, let's go. All right, so here's our first planet. This planet was submitted by Solivex on my Discord server. And let's just take a look at it already. This is a beautiful planet. These rings look awesome. So it does have life already on it. And let's look at some of these stats. So the gravity is 98% of Earth's gravity. So it would feel almost the same to go on this planet. The rotational period is 17 days. So each day on this planet would last 17 days. That's a long time. The atmosphere is pretty breathable. And whoa, whoa, look at this view, like of the rings from the surface. So there's like two different sides of living on a planet. You have to be able to survive and then also you want it to be beautiful. These are some pretty cool looking mountains. The landscape of this planet is very good. I really like it. So the atmosphere is breathable and the pressure is a little bit less than Earth's pressure. So it's still survivable, but you might have a harder time breathing. You might have like almost hyperventilating to get your breath. It does look like it has cool canyons and stuff, but I don't see a lot of plants or anything. It's just a lot of rocks. So I wonder, let's look in any of these areas. Are there plants or anything? Or are these all just rocks? This looks like dirt. So yeah, there's not a lot of foresty areas or anything like that. Oh, there's a little bit. Look, we get a little bit of red flowers. This area is cool, actually. It's got a lot of dark colored stone. Okay, and then let's look around the planet too. So that's kind of what the surface is looking like. And then we got rings. Does it have any moons? No, this planet has zero moons. Okay, so would I live on this planet? I'm gonna say no, not gonna live on this planet. And the reason is just because in these land areas, there's not a lot besides rocks. There is a lot of cool rock formations like mountains and stuff, but there's no like grass or anything. Oh, we do get Northern Lights. That's pretty cool. So this one's it was close, but I'm going to say no. Oh, wow. OK, here we go. This one also has rings. This planet was submitted by Zethi on my Discord server and already. Wow. So I do see we have a lot more green and this one actually has a moon. So we'll be able to see that moon from the surface. So let's go down on the surface. Let's go into an area where there's going to be a lot of diversity. Like, whoa, look at these mountain ranges. And then we also have like these grassy areas. So Space Engine doesn't actually load trees, but I'm sure if this was a real planet, there would be trees here and forests and stuff. So the view of the rings from the surface is really cool. And these mountain ranges are, whoa, very sharp. Look how sharp that mountain is. So we got pretty diverse landscape like the other one, but we have more greener areas. So this is going to help a lot with life. Let's check out some of the stats. The gravity, a little tiny bit more than Earth, but it's about the same. You would feel basically the same on it. The atmosphere is breathable, but the pressure is almost 10 times the pressure of Earth. So you could still survive that. It would just it would not feel normal to you. OK, the temperature on this planet, the average temperature is negative seven Celsius. So that is a little bit cold. So that does not make it ideal for living here. But I mean, we get colder temperatures than that on Earth all the time. Oh, this is a shadow. This is in the shadow of the ring. The rings are super thick. So if you live there, you might be in shadow all the time. OK, and then this is the view from space again. We actually have pretty colorful rings. And then let's check out the moon. So this is our main moon. It looks like there might be a couple smaller ones. And the view from the moon. Wow, look at that. How many moons does it have? It has five moons. And this is the only main one. And the rest are like little asteroids. OK, so would I live on this planet? Yes, I would live on this planet, even though it is a little bit cold. But besides that, it is almost perfect. The rings are awesome. I would say it would be worth it to live a little bit colder, but then have this view of the beautiful rings. It's awesome. So yes, I would live on this planet. OK, this planet, it looks like two planets almost binary with each other. This was submitted by Nathan Rog 6 on my Discord server. So I'm guessing this is the main planet. And then that is sort of like the big moon. So I think the views on this planet are going to be beautiful. So if we turn off the clouds, this is what the surface is looking like. So this one doesn't have water and it doesn't have life like guaranteed on it. So it does have these pretty big volcanic mountains. And then where's that moon from the surface right there? So if you're standing on this planet, that's what you see in the sky every day. That is cool. So the views on this planet are cool, but the temperature is not very good. It is 220 degrees Celsius on the surface of this planet. So here's our view from space and we get like, what are these areas? Are these like canyons? They're just lighter areas. So it is a cool planet, but not very good for life. 
I do like the way it looks, and it is cool to see this binary relationship. Like, we have volcanoes on here, too. So landing on this planet and then looking up, it would take up almost your whole sky. The view of the planet. And it looks like it's right. These two planets are right on the edge of the Milky Way. Because you can see that view of the Milky Way, which is pretty cool. So, would I live on this planet? No. But it is a cool planet. Alright, here's our next planet. This planet was submitted by Cactusec. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, but there it is on screen. Okay, so this planet does have life already on it. And wow, we have clouds turned off. With clouds, it looks more like this. So this one also has rings, and these rings look a little further out. It looks like it has a lot of small moons, because these are all moons here. They're like asteroid moons. And then a couple... Whoa, how many moons does it have? 12 moons. Okay, that's cool. That's definitely going to add points for desire to live here. Let's turn off the clouds in the atmosphere. Okay, so without that, the planet looks a little weird. Whoa, it's like pixelated almost. Let's go land and see what that looks like up close. Whoa, okay, this planet is weird. I have never seen a planet like this. It has a ton of different colors of things. I think it's probably bugged, but that is cool. Yeah, I've never seen a planet like this before. And the atmosphere is super blue, super blue. I wanna know what a sunset would look like on here just because of the super blue atmosphere. Whoa, okay, sunset here, super pink. That might add points for desire to live here. That's cool. That's our sunset. That's awesome. Okay, and then what are our stats? Could we live here? Temperature, negative three Celsius, we could do that. The atmosphere pressure is four times Earth. It does have a lot of pressure, but that is survivable. We would be fine. Gravity, 1.13 times Earth. So you would feel basically the same. And the atmosphere, it looks like it's pretty thick in oxygen, uh, but we should be okay. Would I live here? Yes, I would live here. This planet's awesome. Okay, here's our next planet. This planet was submitted by Riker G. At first glance, it looks like it's completely water. Is that true? Yes, so it's a fully water planet. So the only way to live on here would be if you like lived in a boat or I don't know, built a big island or something or get a volcano to erupt and give you some land. So the gravity's half of Earth. So you could actually, it would feel like you weighed half as much, which is pretty cool. The temperature's negative six Celsius. So I'm surprised not more of this is frozen. I bet it's salt water. So salt water doesn't freeze as easily. It is cool looking though. And we do have a lot of moons it looks like. Oh, and a faint ring, pretty cool. Okay, here comes the sunset. That is a sunset on this planet. It is beautiful, but is it more beautiful than Earth? Probably not. It's about the same, I would say. Okay, so this planet is cool. It's a cool planet. Would I live on it? No, just because there's all water and so there would not be a lot to do on it. Oh, wow. Okay, so this planet was submitted by Super Mario Edition on my Discord server. Already, this planet's beautiful and we have colored rings. These rings are like confetti rings. And the planet too is pink, which is awesome. And almost purple water, probably because of the atmosphere color. So let's go down here. Look at that, that is so cool. So we're gonna land right here. So the actual surface isn't pink, it's more yellow. And the pink atmosphere makes it look pink. Is the atmosphere pink? Okay, so this is what the planet looks like without the atmosphere, still pretty cool. And the atmosphere I think really adds to that. Okay, let's see, we got mountain ranges here. Look at this, okay. So it looks like those are some of the other planets in the system. Wow, this is a super cool planet actually. So we got pink and yellow ground, a lot of mountain ranges, beautiful rings. Is And then how are the oceans looking? So that's like our biggest continent. And then we do have a lot of tropical ocean areas. So this is what your beach line would look like. Looks pretty cool. I really like this planet. View from space again. And then what kind of moons does it have? No moons, this planet has no moons. That's okay. Would I still live on this planet? Absolutely. This planet is probably my favorite one I've seen so far. Okay, here's our next one. This planet was submitted by Teddy Space. Already, it looks really cool. In the message, he said it kind of looks like Tatooine, and I think that is very accurate. It does look like Tatooine a lot. I want to see what the surface is going to look like. Uh, it'd be cool if we had the double suns. So this one does say it has marine and terrestrial life, and this view of this galaxy we're in looks really cool. What galaxy are we in? Not the Milky Way, I don't think. I don't know. Some procedurally generated one, I assume. Let's see, Are these, is this like gray? What's down here? We got some pretty cool coastlines and stuff. How are our stats looking? Gravity is about 70% of Earth's. The atmosphere is breathable and the pressure is almost exactly the same as Earth. 
So this one would be very comfortable to live on. Average temperature 1.3 degrees Celsius. So a little bit chilly, but not too bad. Like honestly, that's not super bad. And that's just the average temperature. So you're gonna have places that are hotter and places that are colder. So if you just find a good spot, I bet you could find a pretty comfortable spot to live in. Let's look at a sunset and then I'll make my final decision. Let's go on top of this mountain. Right here, it looks like the highest peak. And then where's the sun? Is that the sun? That's the sun. That was not bright enough to be the sun. What is that? Is that another star? It is another star. I think it's a different system, but still. Basically double suns. Okay, that gets bonus points for the double sun on the Tatooine-like planet. Okay, let's watch the sunset. Okay, there's one sun gone down. Here's the other sun going down. That is what your sunset looks like. It is beautiful. We get lots of beautiful colors on the surface. Because of the beautiful sunset and the double sun, I'm gonna say yes, I would live on this planet. It'd be super cool to see that. Also, all of the stats are really good, so it would be pretty comfortable to live here. And here is our last planet for today. This one was submitted by Awesome Fusion 3. Right away, it looks pretty Earth-like. And is that a moon we got here? A small moon and then slightly bigger moon over there. Pretty cool. Let's go down and look at this. Super green and whoa. Wait, is this the North Pole? Because we got Northern Lights going on here. Did you see that too? Yeah, see we got a northern light ring. That is cool. Okay, that's extra points. Super green, so it wouldn't be that much different than Earth. What are our stats like on here? 70% the gravity of Earth. So it actually probably feel more comfortable than Earth because you can kind of hop around a little easier. The atmosphere pressure is 1.8 times Earth, so a little bit thicker, but completely fine. You would feel fine on it. Temperature, 15 degrees Celsius. That is awesome. Okay, this is like a tropical planet. You would feel nice here, especially since there's gonna be spots that are even warmer than that and colder than that. This might be the most Earth-like planet we've seen today. The Earth similarity index is at 91%. So we got lots of cool structures too. Like these little tropical areas, I just love. This is a cool planet. And then what, let's see a sunset on here. We'll watch a sunset and then we'll make our final decision on this planet. There's what a sunset would look like. All of these objects, it has eight moons. So that's really cool too. There'd be a lot of cool things to see at night, like with a telescope. And like, look at these lakes and stuff too. Okay, this planet's awesome. Here's our space view again. Wow, okay, yes, I would absolutely live on this planet. This might be the best one to live on. That's awesome. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you have cool planets that you want to live on, send them to me on my Discord server. If you enjoyed the video and wanna see more of this series, leave a like on the video so I know. You guys are so awesome. Thank you for watching.